946 on this Saturday morning. It's time for Imagine It, and I'm donning some uh, really amazing wear here. Carl That's Nelson nice. joins us. All Hi. Right. We got the, your fire retardant lab coat on just in case. Mine is as well. Okay. We're going to talk about calories today. All right. All right. <laughs> calories in food. Now, calories are not bad. They're just a measure of energy. Okay. okay. And so I brought with me two different kinds of food. If you can grab a handful of toasted oats and just toss it in this little porcelain bowl. We kind of got one spectrum, one end of the spectrum of food there. Okay. And some cheese puffs here. Oh, load that thing up. Oh, load it up. All right. Load it up. What we're going to do is we're going to measure how many calories there are in each of these samples of food. Now, if we were food scientists, nutritionists, we sure. would do this in a very careful and exacting way. We're going to do it really sort of down and dirty today. No, oh, no problem. We're going Just to... in the studio, right? Exactly. No big deal. Exactly. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to burn these samples and we're going to measure or observe the flame that comes off. All right. Now, you could do that just by toasting them with the torch. Okay. But that's not going to be good enough. We need an excess of oxygen to get them to really combust well. And to do that, I brought with me, or I actually manufactured here, a little liquid oxygen. This blue liquid is liquid oxygen. It's about two balloons worth of oxygen. Far more oxygen than we need to combust this stuff. Hmm. So here's the deal. I'm going to give you the torch. Okay. I know you're excited about it. All right. That. You are, I'm going to pour the oxygen on the cereal. You're going to hit it with the torch, and then you should probably block your vision. Okay? All right, this is it's, going to be the end of the road for me, right. folks. Go ahead and light that thing up. Don't bring it over quite yet. Get ready. All right, bring it over and hit them. Hit it and hold it there. All right. Wanna... Did I do it too soon? No, no, that was great. So now you're getting a sense of how much energy there are in those uh, wow. toasted oats. They're really toasted <laughs> at okay. this point, right? Um, very, very, still going. Very, very bright um, flame. Yeah. All right, let's try it with the cheese puffs. Okay, now do I need to hold it on there longer um, or a little bit less? No, you, you did actually really well. Okay. That was pretty good. And, you know, we don't want the smoke alarm to go off, so we'll cover that <laughs> up. All right, so go ahead and light up your torch again. All right. So this is the comparison. This is the cheese puffs. So let me get the oxygen in there. Go ahead and hit them. Hold it there for a second. Okay, pull back. Oh, wow. Okay, so you see, that's why I brought the fire extinguisher as well. Sure. <laughs> Incredible amount of energy coming off those cheese you puffs. You can feel the heat from that. You can feel it. You can yeah. see it. Um, I'm going to cover some of these up here. <laughs> no big deal, Carl. All right. There's a lot of smoke here now. But... I mean, the, we have insurance. The idea, excellent. <laughs> I do too. The idea here is that there's energy in the calories. Okay. And I'm not suggesting you eat all cheese puffs all day, but um, it's just a measure of energy. Okay. So the toasted oats are probably a better choice if you're going to consume just one of these two items. Sure. But they both have tons of energy in terms of calories. And that's why the puffs burn longer mm. because they have more calories. Um, the puffs actually have a little bit of oil in them, so that okay. helps them burn a little bit more, and they do have a, a few more calories. Um, we kind of just re did it really sure. quickly here. We do a handful. Not too in. scientific. About 100 right. calories or so. Hmm. But just calories, measure of energy. Interesting. And just a reminder, folks, don't try this one at yeah, home. Don't this try is this one of those home. that we'll leave to Carl and um, apparently right. me. We do it here so <laughs> they don't have to do it at home, right? <laughs> All right, exactly. Carl. Well, that's awesome. And it is March. Uh, you guys have a lot of stuff going on. I know that, you know, 314 day, big day for scientists and mathematicians. Pi day is coming yes. up. Absolutely. We're doing some really cool things with Pi day. And also, we have a pie memorization contest on that day. But also, Mindbender Mansion, our big traveling yeah. exhibit, is still there. Really cool puzzle solver, puzzle challenges, uh, mind games, things like that. Lots of group activities you can do. So definitely bring the family down and check it out. And it is cool because actually, Tony and I stopped by there the one day. And it's not just one that's geared towards kids. You really can get the whole family involved. Oh, and it appeals to adults, too. I kind of wanted to stay that day. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. You should come check it out. All right, Carl, thanks so much. Now the entire studio smells like burnt cheese puffs. If you want to go down to the Imagination Station, there are the hours right there on your screen. They're open Sunday from noon to 5, and today obviously open from 10 to 5 as well. That's uh, downtown One Discovery Way. That's this week's Imagine It from there. Let's go check in with Dave. He's got a look at sports.